Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we're talking about Gemini and more specifically, I'm going to answer a question I've been getting a lot lately. And that is how do you add a debit card as a funding source into Gemini as a payment method? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off, guys, it's going to be a really quick video, not a lot of steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video. But why would you want to add a debit card into Gemini? Well, that's a pretty easy question to answer. If you're looking to buy cryptocurrency, Gemini is definitely one of the more popular apps out there. And in order to buy cryptocurrency, you do need to connect the bank account or a debit card. And it's all handled here in the Gemini app. It's this blue, well, I guess turquoise and white app. If you don't have this app already, check my video description. I'll try to leave a referral link there, but I'm going to go ahead and open my Gemini app now. Okay, guys, I went ahead and opened up my Gemini app. This is the home screen. Here on the home screen, you can see different cryptocurrencies that are currently trading. But if you want to connect your debit card to your Gemini app, you want to click on this button right here on the top right. It's your profile icon. I'm going to click there now. Okay, I went ahead and clicked there. Once you're here, you wanna click on add funding source if you would like to connect your debit card to your Gemini account. I'm gonna click there now. Next, the screen pops up so you can link a bank account as a funding source or you can automatically link a debit card, which is what we're doing today by clicking on this line right here. Once you click there, you wanna choose the currency that your debit card works in. So mine is US dollars, I'm gonna click there. Next, you'll want to add a billing address. So mine's in the US, so I'm gonna click there. And you wanna make sure that you use the billing address that your debit card has on file. I'm gonna go ahead and enter mine in off screen now. Okay guys, I went ahead and entered in my billing address. I'm gonna click on this next button here on the top right. Next, Gemini is asking to have access to the camera so you can scan your debit card, or you can go ahead and just do what I do and click enter the card manually down here on the bottom. All right, next you wanna enter the name on the card, the 16 digit debit card number, expiration date, and the three digit security code from the back of your debit card. I'm gonna enter that in off screen now. Okay, I entered all the required information. I'm gonna click this done button here. Okay, next Gemini is asking to verify my card. So what's gonna happen is they're going to send three deposits into your account. So you'll need to look at your bank account online to verify those charges. So make sure you have access to online banking to your debit card. I'm gonna click continue. Okay, so now they're letting me know that they sent two charges through and it will amount to less than a dollar and one cent. So I'm gonna switch over to my banking app, check those deposits and then enter them in here off screen. Okay guys, so I went ahead and checked my online banking and actually I misread it. It's saying that the charges will be more than a dollar one. So the first one I got here and the second one here. Once you verify that, click this done button here on the top right. Okay, it moved pretty quick, but then it came up with a pop-up saying that success, the payment method has been added. Also, I wanna let you know, you do get an email confirming that your debit card has been added as a payment method on your Gemini account. So there you have it, guys. That's the easiest way I know how to add a debit card into your Gemini account to use as a payment method. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. But hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.